All right, hey guys, welcome back. So today we're talking camping tables and a hack you can do to improve your gaming experience. So stay tuned. So this is our camping table. It's a lifetime collapsible table that you can find at any Home Depot in the US. Uh, we use it for everything. We put our food on it, we sit around and play card games on it, we do basically everything we do when we're sitting around camping. So one of the biggest problems we have with this is, well, this. Oh yeah, man, that's hilarious. Hey, hey it's your turn. <laughs> so today, we're gonna fix that problem. All right, let's talk about some of the stuff we're gonna need. So first off, we need some 1 8 inch bungee cord. We'll need some adhesive line heat shrink tubing. bunch of these plastic cord locks and then tool wise we'll need a drill with a 1364 drill bit and a heat gun as always all the links for these parts are found in the description down below so here I wanted to get some rough measurements for the table this table actually wound up being six feet by 29 and a half inches. So with that, I wanted to kind of plan around the cards and the games that we have. I chose the regular deck of cards. It seemed to be a pretty standard size for us. So here I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place it, which we wound up doing four and a half inches on the table. So next on the long sides of the table, I wanted to kind of figure out where we wanted to position the starting hole. So I chose five inches and with the playing deck card, we're actually going to draw a hole every three and a half inches. So we're going to drill a total of seven holes per slot. This will give us six slots for the cards on each player's side of the six sides of the table. We're also going to wind up doing this in the middle as well, which you'll see here. I start to mark out the center line of the table with the 29 and a half inches. I'm just going to make two marks and then connect them so I have a reference line to drill on. So again, with the center line, we're gonna wind up putting seven holes on each side. So this way, it's a little bit more modular for us to get in. This one we started at two inches, but again, we're gonna follow the three and a half inch sizing for our slots. So now the fun begins, you get to drill out all the holes you marked on the table. Just remember, try and keep the drill bit as parallel as possible. Go up and down a couple times to try and clear out all the plastic. You will probably have to take a knife, at least on the bottom of the table, to clean up any of the additional plastic that it is involved in the drill. Now we finally get to our final hole. We'll drill it out and then we can start to set up our bungee cords. So here I just have laid out a ruler. I'm gonna actually push the bungee cord up against it without putting any tension on it. We're gonna wind up creating 10 string lengths that are 18 and a half inches long and then 10 that are 10 inches long. These will essentially provide us with enough flexibility for card games and allow us to have the table be very modular in the way we can set it up for whatever card game we're gonna play. So after 
after you cut all those up, you should have a pile that looks like this. And now we're basically gonna cut our heat shrink tubing. So I went with an inch and a half spacing here. It might've been a little much, an inch you could probably get away with. But I wanted to cut it a little long so that way I could trim it off of the cord after I heat shrink it on. So now that we got our heat shrink tubing there, we're gonna wind up sliding this on the end of both ends of the elastic cord. We're gonna leave a little hanging off on the edge there, and then we're gonna hit it with the heat gun to shrink it. Just one thing to note here, you might wanna use low heat on the heat gun. I noticed this when I was doing it, that it was actually breaking the bungee cords in the cable itself through the heat shrink tubing. You'll actually see a bend here in a second. I was able to save a couple of them, but I would recommend low heat for this for putting the heat shrink tubing on. So once it's on, we're then gonna take our wire snips and we're gonna cut the very tip off to have just a clean end on the end of it. So the best way I found with this is to put the cord stop on the end and then go from the bottom up, go across however many slots you wanna go, slide it down, and then from the underneath, put the other cord stop on, and we'll put tension on the cable for as tight as we need it to go. So now, let's give it a test and see how well it fares. I think I call that a success. That was awesome. We blew one cart away and keep in mind this sends air 100 miles per hour. So I'm pretty impressed. And just for fun to show you guys, this is real. <laughs> so this, this worked out really well. So if you wanna try and attempt this yourself, um, you know, follow the directions in the video. Uh, you can apply this to other tables too. Um, just make sure you're mindful of where the frame on the outside of the table is and, you know, the leg supports and all that. But uh, good luck with your designs and building, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel out. We'll see you next time. Bye.